is fairy. Yeah, so we're... Oh, really? Yeah, so he knows what he's going into. That's a nice binary dichotomy of characters to play. You get a nice zoner with set play and a nice grappler with set play. And I believe last week during the first tournament, he was playing... Uh, what is going on here? Uh, I think... Maybe you picked the wrong user for his stick? Looking for some stimulus. I'm trying to read the body language of the players. Not get, not getting much stimulus. It's not a head-to-head -head setup. It's a uh, they're sitting across from each other, so they're not really able to communicate about what's going on. Either way, now we know how FPS Nuz may be opening the next match. Mm. Dropping down the Ghost Cat, setting up the set play, Character select. cracking the whip. I mean, these are all things we expected anyway. I'm just interested to see how well he can do it. All right, round two. It counts as round one, but this is round start two. This time we might see some movement or action out of Asian Dave. I think his stick is. Or maybe Nuz might do something different now that. Yeah, I, I, I imagine you would. But if you don't, you got guts. That's brave. Yeah, if you do the same thing in <laughs> yeah. round start. Never get conditioned, right? <laughs> I mean, who'd expect it? Yeah. Asian Dave's that kind of player. I think he's got strong strength of will and like, commitment. It's hard to shake him. Very Case in point, end. already walking and rolling forward. One of the big advantages of Bastiva is that in this game, doing anything builds you meter. Blocking especially builds you meter. And so you can be patient and wait for yourself to get full screen Lariat Super, which allows you to get in and whip punish anything. You can cancel into it off of all your normals, and if you make contact on hit, you're going, you're getting OP and damage, and you're getting the mix. Ooh, grab tech. Same principle applies to the EX Lariat, which uh, is huge, massive combo damage. Even sweep and miss screen does a lot of damage for Vestivo off the EX Lariat. Asian Dave on the defensive now, trying to apply pressure, but now he's still with some ball pressure. Oh. Wow, got mixed by the low after. Not a, quite a full conversion. Takes the throw. Still alive. Ooh, but get hit by fairies, I believe, is yep. jumping medium. I think so. Instant overhead. It's uh, It wasn't the safest instant overhead, but it didn't need to be safe because FPS does would have survived the punish without concern anyway. It still would have led to Sepulchre, though. Cause that could have been terrifying. You can, you can rationalize it either way. Nuz keeping his distance from Dave. Yep. Now you saw that the whip actually does have a hurt box. Even Dave just punched that whip from full screen and it landed. Yes, so you can't just throw out fairies normals. They can be punished even from a distance. Yep, there is risk. They can be hit, even counter hit as they approach you. EX Lariat goes right Ooh, in. Ooh, he gets ah, the air grab. Nice, nice. So there's a setup here. Ooh, but EXDP. Yeah, Asian Dave walked up and just got DP'd on. If you really want to prevent yourself from getting DP'd as Mastiva, you've got to commit to safe jumps. And you have plenty of time to because all your grabs are hard knockdowns. Ooh, got the EX area. Yep, potential sweep there. This is a great way to take over neutral. That's a lot of respect. Ooh, Nuz was trying to go low as well. Even Dave stayed solid, but he's in the corner. He does have 100% meter, so anything could get super, Ooh, but anything could get hit as well. The roll got hit. He took game one for SPS Nuz. Is Dave going to keep playing Fast Bell or is he going to switch characters? It has not gone well so far. Uh, not, we've seen a stray read with air grab, but not much of an offensive, offensive sequence after. He's gotten VP'd a lot. He's going to have to use a lot of discipline with the Goki, I think, and commit to a real safe run. Ooh, he whiffs on the X. This is the uh, hit and run kind of strategy. You can't run forever, though. The corner is there to give Asian Dave something to hope for, but the corner is a pipe dream now. FPS has plenty of space. And Asian Dave couldn't convert off that anti-air. It wasn't the counter hit or anything. Rolls through? Ooh, Ooh yeah. Dave gets the combo in, but drops it. Ooh, gets the EX Lariat. 
has nose in the corner. Ah, that's a fat counter hit. How Ooh. about you buffer after great punish though? And the <laughs> EX grab. And the jump command grab as well. Just keep fully believing that Nuz will be blocking, finally. You can count on somebody blocking when their EXDP is, you know, on cooldown. That's that's going to be something that Agent Dave has to look out for. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes what's on cooldown. We do have, we do have cameras up here. We will design a new HUD for Grand Blue, don't you worry. Agent Dave was getting some just blocks and they are building a little bit more meter for doing so. But meter can't be the only way your plan will work. You gotta get some bigger confirms, but take your work to do. Man grab. Not a conversion for FTS nuns off of the missing overhead. Agent Dave's thankful. Dave has meter. Still has 100%, yep. And it could be either of the big supers now. Ooh, what happens on the trade? Quick light. Oh. Ooh. Wow, that's Yes, a he gets punish. the super. Yeah, and. But it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill, but it has the corner. Oh, wow, the recovery on the Kamega is pretty quick. You're gonna have to do something else that goes airborne to punish instead of just jumping back. It must take some good reaction to convert off just the cat without any explosions. Oh! Oh! Asian Davis is trying to win with any stray hit, but gonna have to deal with the chip situation now. He can't block too much. Ooh, ah. and he gets hit by the low. Now, that didn't actually have an exclamation point or anything, and Dave was standing, so I'm not sure if it actually hits low, but either way, the forward movement got checked, no problem. Do you know if that hits low or not? Uh. That move does hit low. It's, it's probably because Dave wasn't blocking mid. Yeah, okay. He's doing something else. Yeah, I see, I see. Cool. That's good to know. Yeah, going forward. Still getting hit a lot going forward. This is looking pretty tough. If there were some kind of armored option that Dave could commit to, that would be really powerful. But he has to count on getting super or having a raw EX Lariat hit to get a sequence started. Ooh, gets the air grab off. This starts the sequence for sure. And a full block. Not the biggest counter hit punish. And it gets thrown as well. That's a bad reversal of fortune for Agent Dave, who's in trouble now. Still has the super, though. It's EX Lariat as well could be a big buffer for full screen. Maybe if he just does it, it works. Next it could kill Dave. Absolutely, even a stray head. Maybe Dave's looking to react to something with super. Nah, he's Ooh, looking to wait and, and then commit to the super as oh, a and grab. Oh, and he gets the grab. That's a one this framer. This is the super skybound. Yep. And we're not going to see the pin, but we are going to see a very stressful situation for Nuz. Oh, it's not stressful at all. Wow. After they kick out from the pin, Vestiva gets pushed full screen. That's, that's pretty rough for her. Oh, but he gets hit by the super. Yeah. I'm not sure what Asian Dave was trying to kick. Maybe he was trying to use a move that was on cooldown. I feel like Fossiva is a very poor choice against Harari. It might be the only choice you can make at this stage of week one, though. Unfortunately yeah. for Asian Dave. I have been seeing inclinations that the matchup is difficult for Vestiva. But I also haven't seen enough mix out of the Vestiva players that lose to Ferry. You know, I haven't seen it go well.